Good evening and a very warm welcome to the Grassroots Weekend, the show, your very last show of 2023. And what are you saying? What do you mean? Ah, oh, I thought it was the last show ever. No, it's not. You've got me in 2024 as well. Anyway, what's your year like? A little bit of a recap on the Grassroots Show from 2023. Um, I hope you've had a fantastic year. Obviously, we've all had ups and downs. It's never, ever perfect. I don't think there's been a year where we've ever had it perfect, unless we were little kids and we didn't understand what was going on throughout the year. But mums and dads, uh, all the family, they've all had ups and downs. When you get to a certain age, you, you hear about a lot of funerals, you hear about a lot of mishaps, you hear about a lot of accidents, even if you didn't involve them in yourself, within yourself. It's, um, it's just amazing the way life goes on, but we've got to make the most of it. And um, tonight, the bells chime, the fireworks, bonfire night all over again, even louder. It goes on for, what, good hour, if not more. I think we'll hear them from around about 8 o'clock. That's my honest opinion, and non-stop. So if you've got your pets, please be aware, keep them indoors, lock them up, and just lock them out of sight, and maybe a um, little soundproof um, kennel might come in handy one day. For them, you know, re prepare for all this. Anyway, um, some of them are scared, some of them don't flinch, they're not bothered, they just get used to it. And I suppose if you get your, get used to loud sounds on the TV, they won't flinch. They'll get used to them outside. But some of them, dear me, they are absolute bombs. And I think um, for the price of them, God, what does it cost to set them off? So we have two bonfire nights here. So we Guy Fawkes on November the 5th and New Year's Eve and I expect it to be the biggest and loudest ever. But the weather doesn't seem too kind, it's all about high winds, so be very, very careful. I watched the um, a clip on social media, I think it might have been in America or something. T and me, it was so frightening where the whole family is sitting there ready to um, watch the display and on the right hand side as you're looking there's a car parked there and they've got tons of fireworks all ready to go and I put them outside. It wasn't in a field, it was on a, uh, the road path, um, or footpath should we say, on the kerb outside and everyone was seated and then suddenly they lit the firework and it fell and it, it, it just burst everywhere and the family picked the baby up, you could see, there must have been about ten of them and then what they didn't notice was a flame from the firework had gone directly onto the, the rest of the fireworks and that was frightening to say the least. Honestly, you're talking explosives, the way it went, lucky the family got out of the way, hopefully there wasn't any injuries, um, but it just shows you what can go wrong, so be very, very careful even tonight when you're setting those fireworks up, especially if you've had a drink, because some get very, very brave, walk over and just put the head over them and God, you face the consequences, you know, because um, you still have to be at arm's length and make sure that the firework has gone out before you even approach it and it's all finished and make sure that everyone is a good distance away because at the end of the day, you look up, you look up, that's where the firework is supposed to be aimed to, not about everyone watching there so closely, it's, it, the, the display is in the sky to say the least, so um, Good luck to you on those ones, so be very, very careful, especially if you've got all the kids around, because we tend to keep them up very, very late on New Year's Eve, don't we? So, it's the passing of 2023. Some may say, thank heavens for that. Some may say, what a year I've had, and let's just hope 2024 could be better. Uh, well, we should say that every year. We want the next year, the turn of the year, to be even better if we possibly can. So obviously we, we would like to wish you and everyone, all the grassroots teams, the um, the referees, the committees, the players, the coaches, the managers, every single person who's involved in grassroots football throughout the year, honestly, and the year coming, just take it easy, have a lovely year, and we can only wish you all the very, very best for 2024. And remember when you do come back, um, we want, you know, what we do is don't cross the line. It's all about respect. It's all about 
in enjoying people's company basically and developing the kids playing football and also the referees they want to develop their skills so let them all develop and they'll be even better if you encourage the kids and the referees forget the referee is there on that pitch the referee blows the whistle you just encourage your kids to play on and no matter what happens it's about the kids developing their skills so please leave the referees to officiate that's all we ask when it comes to next season. When we say next season, it's the 1st of January tomorrow, New Year's Day. Um, and everyone I know for a fact will all start taking the decorations down. They've had enough of them. They've been up for nine weeks anyway on most houses. TMA. But um, yeah, we all start a new, well, I don't know, a new year. And we're all hoping and praying that it'll be so successful and things will happen that will make you, your family and everyone around you very, very happy indeed. But we know, we all know what it brings. So please make the most of it. We only live once. It's a short life. So let's all try and be happy. I know everyone has probably, it's cost them a fortune. They're all dreading the bills coming through the door in the new year because this is the time you start thinking, don't you? I don't want it to come. I don't want this year to change. I don't want to hear those bells, the ships, the fireworks. I don't want to hear them. And the good thing about it on Mersey's side here, we do hear the horns on the ships a lot because we have the docks not so far away from us and the pierhead and the river Mersey. So all the ships that have docked, they sound off their sirens, their horns, and Honestly, they, we go by that because it's dead on 12 o'clock. That's when you're supposed to start celebrating when you hear the ship siren. But you know what? People do it about 10 to. They want to be the first to celebrate and they don't give a damn about 12 o'clock passing. They really, really don't. But all we can say is just make sure that whenever you are, you're safe, you're happy, your family are there, you're all together. And always, this is honestly, touch wood, this works. Always. We all hear these myths and what you do, you know, you, don't, you let the new year in with a piece of coal and um, there must be a million things that, that people go from. Uh, it's old school, we all know that, but one thing I've always believed in every single year and it, it does work, yet we all know we're using these cards now, but if you have a little bit of silver, silver, keep it in your pocket, spread it out, make sure all the family have got silver in their pockets. And honestly, you should have money all year round. No one's saying you're going to win the lottery, but it just keeps that. It's one myth that I believe in. I really, really do. Make sure, not copper, silver. Make sure you have it in your pocket and you watch. You will get some money all year round. And it's better than having empty pockets into 2024, the turn of the new year. So you've got something in your pocket. I've always believed in it. So please have a little go. I make sure, I always go round, you say, you've got your silver in your pocket or your purse, and if people have got too much, then spread it round, give it to someone, even the kids, make sure they've got that in the pocket, because you never, ever know. You can't go wrong, it's nothing, it's a, oh yeah, believe in that superstition. Try it, just try it, and tell me if I'm wrong at the end of next year. You've got a whole year of money. No, it's just like, it, it, you... It's supposed to be that you won't have a shortage of money. You should be okay. Not saying that you're winning the lottery. Not saying, um, but if you do win the lottery and you put that silver in your pocket, mark at don'ttextaline.com. Then you can thank me properly. Honestly, you really, really can. But you can thank me anyway towards the end of the year that your family should stay secure, and that's all you need. So long as they've got some money in the pocket, and they can go ahead, they pay the bills, have a little holiday. Make sure the kids are clothed, make sure they've got the food on the table. Honestly, it does work. It really, really does. I'm not promising miracles. I'm just saying at least you can get by on a little bit more cash. You may get a raise off your boss. You never know. <sighs> yeah, we all know pigs may fly. That's it. That's what we're doing. Pigs in blankets will fly. I'm enjoying this cup of tea. I hope you're enjoying one with me. Before you all open your bottles of champagne, your Prosecco, all your shots, all your beers, all celebrate, singing, dancing. And many years ago, honestly, it used to be unbelievable in the streets. It's not anymore. Um, yet we have uh, a lot of um, different cultures coming into our country now. 
and we all had them as neighbours now, so we had to mix in, and they all love the way us British celebrate. They love the fireworks, honestly, and do you know what? It's friendly, and that's the difference. That's the you know what we really want is friendliness and peace, if we possibly can throughout the year. And it goes without saying, in your street, if if you've got these different cultures of people coming in and. Uh, we, we do, we mix with them very, very well indeed, and, and that's the way to be, I suppose. Um, but years ago, it used to be where there were open doors, and everyone was in the street, everyone was having these parties, and the biggest party everyone flocked to, brought beer, brought, brought sandwiches, you could walk up, neighbours would turn around and say, well, you should talk to mine and just nip in there and, you know, get me coat or get me cardigan, something like that, to get a bit cold before we celebrate the new year. And we used to do that as kids, you know, there you go, didn't need a key. Doors were open, friendliness was unbelievable. And the song was all Lang Syne, which you only hear of now and again. Everyone used to sing it. It was amazing, and I think they do in Scotland, because I can imagine New Year there is unbelievable. Never been, um, what is it, the tattoo of the guards on the Edinburgh Festival. That's amazing, and hopefully the weather will be okay on that one. I normally tune into that one because I love the the pipers, the Scottish pipers, when they come out and they start bursting out all these these ah oh, these themes of music and all Lang Syne, amazing grace, and they're all in it together. I just believe it's fantastic, especially with the drums. Anyway, I'm probably getting in the celebration mood, and why shouldn't we? Because we haven't got long to go before we all wake up. And it's January the 1st, 2024. And you know when you do reports, I do these in work, you've got to remember, everyone goes by the date, don't they? And they go, oh yeah, they always put last year's date. How many of you done that? You've got to get used to it. Put it in your head, 1st of January, 2024, 2024. Now, odds or evens, what are you? Do you believe that odd numbers are really poor and bad luck? And do you believe that even numbers make it better for you? Well, we'll have the chance to prove that, won't we? We'll know next year do you believe in it what's your new year resolution have you decided to lose weight have you decided to train more stop smoking stop drinking whichever one you choose you've got to you've got to do one if you don't do one throughout the years then there's something wrong it really is you've got to have a go keep yourself fit keep yourself motivated and be inspirational for others and just be friendly turn a new leaf over if your irate parents out there are spectators and they go and watch the football and you like to shout at the referee. New Year's resolution, peace. Say nothing to the referee. Let them go in peace. Let them referee, officiate in peace. Keep your mouth quiet, as we say. Put on the duct tape and start applauding more than shouting at them. Show loads of respect and respect as well. There's a New Year resolution. If you haven't got one, and you go to watch the kids playing football and you think you're a little bit irate when it comes to the games and you start arguing. I know one or two and I've got one parent there who I keep telling all the time, but he does listen and he will get there, I assure you, because we are DXTL, don't cross the line and we've got to show respect on and off the field of play. And even our kids wear the t-shirts and if they come out of order, which they do, six, seven years eight years we can't expect them to behave the kids but we will try and change their attitude as well and we want them to respect more kids if we possibly can 14 minutes six minutes of the show left of 2023 before the bells start tolling before the singing the dancing the the beers run out you know uh, what time do you get to bed my days are gone for five six o'clock in the morning Leave that to all the young ones and please, if you're in town, if you're in the city centres, come home safe, be safe, remember, don't be silly, don't ever be silly, you've got a family there, you want to come home to your family, enjoy your night out, please be friendly to everyone, if you see any signs of trouble, stay clear of it, come away from it, go home and be safe, please be safe, leave it all to the police who are around and about, and also the club assistants, the bouncers in there, just walk away. Try not to get involved in anything. Unfortunately, some people do get dragged into things and it's not very nice when you read or hear the news the following morning. Please be safe. That is it. It's horrible to say in New Year, 
the turn of the year that we're giving warnings out to people just to make sure that they behave. You're going out, honestly, there's people with families there, you don't want to get into any brawls. Everyone wants to go home safe and sound to their families, to their kids, and just be positive and have a new life and, and look forward to 2024 and make the most of it. Make things happen yourself. Try your very, very best. You know, I'm looking back on what we've achieved with Hearts of Gold and the team of DXDL. All these activities, these skydives over the years, the National Three Peaks, the, the Wellington Liverpool Marathon, we've run it, we've walked it, and also the last one that I've done was Hadrian's Wall. That was tough three days challenge. The National Three Peaks was a three day challenge. And last year's in August, we completed the Yorkshire Three Peaks. And as you heard me last night, Joe, that was tough in itself. It really was, believe me. Um, and our new challenge, and you can please support us if you can. We've got to raise 10,500. We're looking for businesses who will want their logo on the banner that we go round to all the grounds. 92 grounds, 92 pounds we're asking all the businesses to support us, to sponsor us, to raise the funds before we start raising, raising money for the uh, worthy cause of Heart of Gold initiative. Kids suffering with mental health and also we want disadvantaged children supported, especially in grassroots football. And this is what the Heart of Gold is trying to achieve. And obviously we did not realise that you had to pay something like £10,500 to have been adjudicated to go with you from the uh, Guinness Book of Records. Everyone thought it was free, including ourselves. We didn't realise, so we're, that's why we're asking businesses to support us. And it's when you see all these people going around the world and swimming the, um, across the Atlantic and things like that, they've got big sponsors. You wonder how they can do it, and that's how they do it. And obviously, we didn't realise that if, to get a Guinness Book of Records, you had to pay them. And it, it is a, a big amount, I must admit. But we're trying, we're keeping the team together and hopefully hopefully we've got John May and Tim Edwards coming along as well. They're going to put their names to it and have a go. If we can have a Guinness Book of Records, what a, what a time to achieve that in 2024. That is our new challenge. So please watch for it, support us and get us involved as much as you can. We'll have it all over social media. No doubt the media coverage, if we can raise this money, will be high and the fundraising will be high for what we raise then to the Heart of Gold initiatives because we do want to turn this into a charity. At the moment, we're a community interest company. That still means that everything goes back in to what we raise, to what we achieve, to everything that we do. Like you've got this, you've got the kids' voice box, young commentators, you know, kids who want to learn, giving kids a voice. If we can do that, then obviously you've helped us. You've It's a mountain to climb, but we're there, we're willing to do it. We're all volunteers. And we all have jobs. And the nine times out of ten, you'll see us taking our annual leave to do this. And we're all putting chipping in £92 ourselves as well. £92 clubs, £92. If you could make any donations and you want to make a donation or a business, please contact myself, Mal, at don'textaline.com. Add me as a friend on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, or the social network sites. We'd love your support if you really could help us out with our next goal, which is trying to get round 92 clubs in 70 hours. I think the record is 72. But we want to get us book of records, we want it noted, we want to be in the book, and we want to try and raise as much as we possibly can. And with your help and your sponsorship, we can do that. And everyone will get support. We'll give you a mention if you want. Let me know. If you want to be anonymous, let me know. It's simply... We tried to get people to do 92 pence, but it won't accept it on GoFundMe, unfortunately. It's got to be a limit of £5, that doesn't work. So we could ask you to donate a limit of £5, but not just yet until we um, start the ball rolling and we've raised ten and a half grand to do our challenge. Then we're going to go hell for leather and raise as much funding as we can for our Heart of Gold initiatives, which is kids suffering with mental health, and also issues, should we say, and also disadvantaged children. And we'll do one or two other things as well within the community if we start getting going the way we expect it to go. Well, looking back, we've had a good year um, in Don't Cross the Line, and we've got our respect campaign as well. 
we'd love all the grassroots team supporters to get behind that one, make sure that we keep our referees officiating within the game and let's not be irate on the touch lines. Make that a, make that a law to yourself, your own law that you cannot do, or a rule that you cannot do. You must not be irate. Write it down a thousand times and when you go to grassroots football, all you need to do is encourage the kids. Forget the referees on the pitch and have a great day. And the kids will develop a lot more, I assure you. Now looking back, you know, I've had some ups and downs. Uh, towards August there, I lost, uh, or in August, I lost my brother to cancer, which is a terrible, terrible thing. We know it, um, and that, that got me. But I know he's still with me, and he was definitely still with me on the Yorkshire Three Peaks. If you saw that light on the photograph when I was looking up, we did not know, we did not see it until, yet you could say it's a sunshine, shine, it's a beam of light, but I believe that my brother was with me and he helped me through it because he motivated me and it was him, my thoughts of him going through as a family member, as a brother, growing up together, it, it got me through and he got me through as well. So well done to my brother Alan and all the family, all his daughters as well. We wish you the best new year possible but I know he's still sitting on my shoulder I know he'll be round and I know he'll carry me through the 92 clubs as well and we're hoping to finish at Liverpool Football Club and it, that will be party time I assure you so in the meantime all I want to do is wish you your families all your friends neighbours and don't forget neighbours if it's cold out there make sure give a knock on the door and wish them a very very happy new year and that's what we'd like to do to you as well we're sending you out on a high. We want you to tune into us in 2024, which hopefully will be next Friday with our young commentators. But in the meantime, put your feet up, don't relax, go and party, celebrate New Year, and let's just hope you'll have a prosperous one at that one. Wealthy, healthy, prosperous New Year. From all of us here, myself, Mal, and all the team at the Don't Cross the Line, Respect Campaign, Heart of Gold Initiatives, and no ref, no game. All the best to you. Good night, God bless.